Sandra, my Puerto Rican queen. She's uh, an amazing woman. And this is an interesting look into our show, Survivor. Thinking about what you feel about Sandra says a lot about people. Because Sandra is slippery as hell. <laughs> and she does it beautifully, smoothly. You are uh, uh, invited in comfortably. You're uh, kept within the hug in beautiful ways. And she'll slit your throat in a heartbeat when you aren't even thinking about it. I love her. You know, she's, she's really, really, really an interesting player. You know, the only person to have won twice. Who knows what'll happen in season 40? Keep watching. Uh, but she's somebody about whom I don't think people talk enough. I don't think people contemplate whether or not she's a gifted player uh, and why. Uh, far too often the comments that I hear are she didn't deserve to win, she doesn't this, she doesn't that, she doesn't the other thing. I don't think she gives a crap what you say about her so long as she gets that check. And I love that. Uh, but the truth is, it is nice to feel understood. And I think if people recognized that Sandra being Sandra is a part of the game, Sandra sitting back, subtly choosing how to and when to interject in ways that only Sandra does is a skill that many, many people, most people don't have and couldn't duplicate if their life depended on it. Sandra has this ability to connect with most of us. San Sandra's humility is palpable. She's relaxed and comfortable and you can tease her and you can pick on her and you can make fun of uh, her choices or her inabilities that you perceive to be inabilities. And Sandra will run with it. She'll roll with the flow. She'll, she'll go along with you and she'll make fun of you and she'll make you comfortable. And I believe that there's a real part of that that is her outside the game too. I, re I really feel comfortable with Sandra in real ways, in the real world, outside of Survivor. But if I were playing against Sandra, even today, after knowing her personally, interacting with her at many events over the years, uh, I guess I would say I do have what we would consider a relationship, a friendship with her. We don't see each other very often, but I feel as if I understand her pretty well. If I were to be on the show with her and to play with her, I still wonder wh how, to what extent I could t trust her, to, to, to what extent I would need to be very, very careful. And I still wonder what's sincere uh, about how she would be choosing to move forward. I think she's brighter than most people think, and I think she'd recognize that it would be much smarter to bring someone who understands the game as well as I do further into the game than most people would. Very often people would get rid of me or want to get rid of me early and think that that's going to benefit them. But if you recognize that I have some skills uh, for whatever reasons, uh, with respect to who we are as humans and how to move forward in the game, it would make sense for a smart player to bring me on with them, to keep me in, to keep me close, to um, align with me for at least some time before chopping my neck off. And, and I think Sandra's smart enough to do that. So that would worry me. <laughs> oh, it's a complicated, beautifully complicated and interesting game. So long as we all understand we're playing a game and doing the best we can. And I think Sandra gets that. I think she knows we're playing a game and it's, it's beautiful to watch.